At this speed you could get really jealous. But don't worry, that's not my car. I'm just experimenting a bit with this cool pointer instrument that I want to use to pimp a slot car racetrack. We have an old Carrera slot car racetrack in the family and it's still a lot of fun to run races with friends. So I thought about making it even better by a display showing the action on the track. I think you already know what that could be. The gauge shall measure the voltage on the track. The racing cars are controlled by the voltage on this relatively old slot car racetrack. The throttle is implemented using a potentiometer that is pushed by your thumb. In the stop position the speed controller creates a short which has the effect of a dynamic brake. This is a very simple but ingenious solution. The dynamic behavior when accelerating and decelerating the slot cars is really a lot of fun. It would be nice if my display instrument would be able to show that dynamics. So I'm doing a little test. My voltage source is a lab power supply with current limitation. In this way I simulate the power supply of a slot car racetrack, which has also a simple current limitation due to its internal resistance to avoid damage from a short. I can change the voltage via the voltage regulator or switch it on and off by simply interrupting the power. I'm now particularly interested in how the display behaves during the acceleration phase of the DC motor. So I connect my display device in parallel with the DC motor and then vary the voltage similar to a slot car race. Incidentally, the display instrument is completely self-built. I use an Arduino board and a stepper motor for it. I link you to the videos on the top right. Personally, I particularly like the feature with the yellow and red LEDs which start flashing wildly when the pointer is in the upper area. I built and programmed the device in such a way that I can later adapt it to the slot car racetrack or other applications. I have to say, I really like how the pointer reacts to the power surges. Even if the device does not really show the speed, but only the voltage, the display follows the dynamics of the motor quite plausibly. When ramping up the display seems to follow the RPM of the engine and when ramping down the same. The latter is also because the gauge as it ramps down shows the voltage induced by the DC motor even when the power supply is disconnected. The display actually works better than I imagined. The current limiter brings an interesting behavior here that actually makes the display very realistic. I'm demonstrating this by slowing down the motor a bit with my finger. Here is the reason. When the motor is at standstill, then a high current is flowing, meaning that the resistance of the motor is low in this phase. As a result, the power supply runs into current limitation and this reduces the voltage. The higher the engine revs, the higher gets its resistance. This causes the power supply to get out of the current limitation and the voltage increases. Since we are measuring the voltage across the motor, the voltage practically rises and falls with the speed of the motor. And RPM is proportional to the speed at least as long as the wheels aren't spinning. Another idea just came to my mind. I explained earlier that the slot cars have a dynamic brake that shorts out the motor. As a result the measured voltage then drops to zero. I think I will try to utilize the yellow LED to indicate when the slot cars are braking. That would be really cool, right? I'm so excited to see how this will work on the actual slot car racetrack. And of course I will let you know on the channel. The little test encouraged me to pimp the slot car racetrack with the display instrument. Maybe I will build a second display instrument for this, so that both slot cars RPMs can be absorbed at the same time. That could make things even more exciting for the drivers and especially for the spectators. 
And then I'm having a completely different idea. With a trick, you could possibly measure the actual speed of a DC motor. But we will talk about that later. Now stay tuned and don't forget to support the channel. See you soon in the coming episodes.